Hey, what is going on? This is LaPrentice and I help health conscious consumers such as yourself remove toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, you asked for it, so you're going to get it. Dasani versus Smart Water. Which one is better, all right? So in order to do this test, we're going to test for three specific things, all right? The first one is antioxidants. We're going to see which one has the most antioxidants. The second one is alkalinity. And the third and final one is superior hydration. So before I get started, if you are serious about improving your wellness and your health, make sure you subscribe to this video so you can see, or subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos like this that's gonna help you achieve that true wellness. All right, with that being said, let's get started with that first one, antioxidants. Now, since we are 75% water, we want to have the best water for our health. And the first one that we're doing as a test is antioxidants. So we are going to test this Dasani and the smart water to see which one is the most antioxidizing. And the reason why is because antioxidants are essentially a fountain of youth, right? We have all kinds of toxins or free radicals in the air, in the air, in the food, in our electronics that we have around us. And so all that creates oxidation and inflammation in the body. And those two things are linked to every health disease known to man. They're positively charged, they create aging and inflammation in the body, right? And they lead to sickness. So antioxidants neutralize those free radicals, which, and they also push out the toxins, reduce inflammation, reduce aging, they're essentially the fountain of youth. And so your water that you're drinking should be a fountain of youth, right? So we're gonna test that using this ORP meter. If the number shows up positive, that means it is oxidizing, it's creating inflammation and stress in the body. If it shows up negative, that means it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. So just think about if you have any type of itis, bronchitis, tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, um, those are itises and that's, that's inflammation that's happening in the body. All right, so let's start off with Dasani. Let's see where that's sitting. All right, so right now we are looking at 229, 230, and it's going up. So let's go ahead and test the Sani water. The Sani water is actually around a 241. That's kind of where it's sitting, right? So the number closest to zero in this case would be better. So right now it looks like Dasani water is better than Smart Water when it comes to antioxidants. But they're both positive, which means they're both creating oxidation, aging in your body. Now you're wondering, hold on, is there a way for there to be a negative number? Well, let's take a look at this water right here. We're gonna go ahead and just pour a little bit of that and put this in here. Maybe we'll get a negative number. Maybe we'll see. So we'll go ahead and leave that in there. And are we getting a negative number? All right, so it looks like we are seeing a negative 790. Wow, so that's really good, right? So your vitamin C, which is where I was told to eat. Um, when we're sick, that we need to get in bed, drink plenty of fluids, and consume vitamin C. It shows up as a negative 50. This water here shows up as a negative 722, which means it's the equivalent of taking 14 oranges or whatever your vitamin C is. So there is something that is antioxidant that is a water. Just wanted to share that. Well, let's go on to the second step, or the second test, which is alkalinity. Our water should be slightly alkaline because our body should be slightly alkaline, right? And so if the water is not alkaline, it's gonna be acidic. And that means it's gonna end up eating the electrolytes that we are consuming. And if our body is taking in water that is acidic, and it doesn't have a way of getting the um, alkaline properties that it needs, your body's gonna start taking it from us. It's gonna start taking it from our skin. It's gonna start taking it away from our muscles, our bones and ultimately our brain, and we don't want that. So our water should be slightly alkaline. 
We're gonna do that test using these pH drops. And so if we see a red, orange, or yellow, that means it's acidic, it's eating the minerals that we need. But if you see a purple, a blue, something like that, then that means it is providing us an alkaline environment, right? That's good. And then green, number seven, is neutral. So let's put a few drops in here. All right, as you can see, Smart Water looks a little bit better than Dasani in this round, so we would give the second round to Smart Water. So right now it looks like we are one and one. Dasani, one on the antioxidants, and then Smart Water, one on alkalinity. As you see though, you're probably thinking, is there actually a water that can show up as very alkaline on the alkaline charts? And there is. So let me go ahead and try this water here. And it actually shows up our purple. So this mystery water that we have here, it's anti-oxidizing, very anti-oxidizing, stronger than your vitamin C's, and is actually alkaline, it's actually good for your body. So let's look at that third thing, and that is superior hydration. All right, the final part of this battle of Dasani versus Smart Water, which one is better? We're gonna test for superior hydration. Now, why this one? Okay, so the water that we should be drinking, it should help us actually feel hydrated. We should drink the water and feel hydrated. We should feel thirsty, should be sitting in our stomach, um, and we can't do jumping jacks or anything. It should actually have us feeling hydrated. So, how are we gonna perform this test? We are going to use tea bags, so why? Because tea is essentially dehydrated, right? And so when we add water to it, water that is actually small enough to hydrate it, then it's gonna make tea. It's pretty simple, right? So let's go ahead and try this with the Sani water. All right, so we don't have any tea. All right, so let's take that same tea bag and let's try it with smart water. All right, so neither one of these are making tea. Um, let's see, it's not making tea. This one's not making tea. So the water molecules on both of these, they seem too big. And so because of that, it's not really making tea. It's not able to actually get into the cells of the bag to make the tea. However, let me go ahead and just try this, this water right here. It may be able to do it. Let's see. All right, so we're actually able to, with this water, actually hydrate you at a cellular level, and we're actually able to make tea from just cold water, which is awesome. So your water should be able to do that. Right now, Dasani and Smart Water are kind of in the same boat as far as hydrating, which means they don't really hydrate you. Um, so, let me just try one more time with the Sani. Yeah, these aren't really doing it. Doesn't seem like it. Um, so they're pretty even, is what I'm looking at right now, between the Sani and Smart Water. So the Sani one, when it came to the antioxidants, which it can really be either one, just depends on how much air is in the bottle, right? Because air has oxidizing properties. Uh, the second thing came down to alkalinity, and while Smart Water was a little bit better, I would say they were equal there, and then neither one of them can actually hydrate you. But this third one here, this random water that we have here actually hydrates you and actually makes tea using just the water that's there. So, it's pretty crazy, right? So final verdict, in my eyes, they're both the same. I would call this a tie, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know who did it better. And if you want to know the five properties of a healthy, good water that's actually good for you to take in, you definitely want to check out the link below and I'll share that resource with you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you change your water, you can change your world. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one.